Welcome to this lecture series on Crop Disease Identification Act. In this project, we are going to develop an application where a user can upload an image so the image can be of a plant which has a certain disease. We have integrated an object detection model which would detect what kind of disease the plant has. Once we receive the label disease from the object detection model, we will parse it to a large language model, specifically OpenAI GPT 3.5 model. Here, we have created a default prompt template using LangChain. We send that prompt to ChatGPT asking for information about what the next step is or the next step that should be taken to rectify the disease and to know more about the disease. Next, the large language model will give us a response accordingly. So this is the basic structure of the application. Now, let's see the application in action. Here, I can upload a picture. Let's see, this is a test image. Let's upload the image and we'll process it afterwards. Here, we can see the object detection model has identified that this is a tomato leaf. This is the detected disease. Here, you can see we have the disease name. Okay, so Jack would ask, how can we assist you? So we can ask him, what can I do to get rid of this disease? As you can see, the chatbot replied with a full step mechanism to adapt in order to get rid of this disease. So it provides us several steps to take. It says starts by removing any infected leaves or plants from the area and make sure to water your plants at the base rather than overhead. Avoid overcrowding your tomato plants, so on and so forth. You may continue this chart zone to get better information on how to get rid of this disease. This is a basic preview of this application. This application has been built using React on the front end, and then we have connected it with the back end using Flask APIs. On the back end, we are using LangChain to connect with the large language model. Similarly, we are using YOLO version 8 to perform the inference on the image. So this is the very basic overview of the application that we are going to build in this lecture series.